Hi there, I'm Alan Newdy from the Historical Aviation Film Unit and I'm here at Flair NZ at the Kofi Airfield near Hamilton in New Zealand talking to Nick Roberts about the PAC P750 Extol aircraft. The, the main role of the aircraft is utility and that means that we can put it in, in a number of uh, situations such as the skydiving role, we can do medical evacuations, we can do passenger configuration, we can do all sorts, cargo, the works, the, the whole shebang. It's a very multi-purpose role aircraft that uh, provides the operator with various options and, and depending on what he operates in gives him that option you know, to choose, to choose what he likes. Um, it seemed to me yesterday that it was actually, uh, in, in terms of its multi-role, that you could change roles relatively quickly. Was it a, a, a stretcher case or something you took out yesterday and it seemed to be quite fast? Yes, we can. We're, the role, the design around the aeroplane with those, those other configurations mean that we can change them relatively quickly, like, like you said, Alan. And uh, again, that makes it very versatile for, for operators around the world. So what's, what's the background to this aircraft? I mean, it looks very familiar to aircraft that New Zealanders have, have seen in the skies for a long time. I mean, is there a pedigree there? Yes, there is. It, it basically starts back to the days with the Fletcher, uh, and we moved on from the Fletcher and we put it into an airframe called the Cresco, which is a uh, formidable aircraft. I, I believe that airplane is just out of this world in the ag role. And then we developed that aircraft into the, the P750, as you see here. Basically the same wing, we've reinforced it. We've also increased the size of the fuselage. Uh, and made it more, again, into that utility side of it where the Cresco was primarily designed for the ag role. Uh, a little bit specialised, we wanted to, to cater for everybody out there and increase our market, and that's where the airframe came from. So what sort of payload is it capable of carrying? Payload, well, the maximum takeoff weight that we certified it to is 7,500, so roughly you can work at about 4,000 pounds of payload. So that's with all the of your fuel and everything else in there, so yeah. We're making modifications and we're trying to redesign the thing to carry a little bit more than that at this stage. That's in the research and development side of things. But uh, soon we'll, we'll hopefully be able to get a little bit more out of her shortly. So in terms of the market, uh, New Zealand, international? Yes, we're in New Zealand. Uh, our international market is where we want to head. That's where the money is. We like to aim for regions such as the Papua New Guinea area, hot and high climate, etc. like that. Uh, we've got clients in Nepal. The aeroplane um, performs very, very well in Nepal. I've just come back from 32 days over there putting in a major modification to the landing gear. Uh, that aeroplane operates regularly to 12,000 feet, uh, you know, close to its maximum all up takeoff weight, uh, and it's approaching 7,500 pounds. So, uh, yeah, minimum takeoff uh, distances as well. So, yeah, she's, she's a fantastic machine. What about endurance? I mean, some of you like Papua New Guinea. I mean, you, you want to have plenty of <laughs> plenty of endurance. I mean, what's, what's the aircraft like? Uh, currently, as it stands like now, we can do about a five and a half hour endurance run on the on the aeroplane. It's a fair way. Uh, a lot of guys can use it for search and rescue as well. So you've got the ability of flying and searching for a long time. Um, we also are developing at the moment a uh, extended range wing. Uh, the exact figures on that are yet to be confirmed. But uh, watch the space. We'll be able to increase that you know that five and a half hour. Uh, capability to look further.